Hey guys, finally I'm back with new content. It was a long time, but now the wall plugin is in the Epic Store. I publish it right after this video will get online, so you should be able to see it on the marketplace. If you're not familiar with the marketplace, I show you how we do this. You open the Epic Launcher and go to marketplace. I, I will give the link in the description so you just have to click on the link and you will get to the page. At the time you open the link you will uh, get on this page on the Epic Store and there will be a button to install it on the engine. Right? Then you click install and wait for it to finish. If you installed it on the engine, though you have the next you have some problem that the plugin by now will be in the engines folder on your desired directory. So I installed my engine at E Drive, Programs, Epic Games, and then here you see the di directory of the Unreal Engine 4.27. So you have to locate this on your drive and go to Engine, Plugins, and then you have to locate the Marketplace and there you have it, the My Plugin. It's at this moment it is called Code Passion War. <laughs> and this was some temporary name but I kept it for now. So, if you want to, s to see what's in the plugin, we just start the engine. Make a game project, blank, or if you want to have some other content, you keep free to do that. We make it a C++ project, desktop, no starter content. Okay, I name it let this because I only make it here for showcase purposes and I create the project. Now we have to wait for the project to fill the files. And right if the Unreal Engine window opens, we can continue by going to Documents, Unreal Projects, or if you changed your properties, this directory will be in one other projects folder that you specified. But here we see the let this. This is the the project we just opened. Now we have the project folder and our engine folders opened. Just go again, engine, plugins, marketplace. Yeah, we want this folder to be placed in our project folder. So just that you can play around with all with the files are that are contained in this plugin. Call this plugins folder and we copy it in there. So if you just have this we have okay we have no problem. It's okay I think. This should be everything. So now that we placed the plugin folder in the plugins folder of our project, we just reopen the project. And in the state we are now, you can't see, <laughs> you can still can't see my plugin. 
So to see the plugin's content, we have to go to a few options down there, show plugin content. So now you should be able to see my plugin, my plugin's content in C++ files. So, and if you want to see what the plugin is capable of, we just go to Coding Passion Wall Content, Maps, and open this wall plugin test map. This is the map from the thumbnail. And here you see all the features that are that are able uh, that are enabled on this plugin as all the other things I showed in the previous videos will be come later because making a plugin needs a lot of um, un renaming the files and follow some rules. So maybe functionality will extend later. But this will be the main thing the most of you will the most of you waiting for. And you can see it if you press play. You can read it and go through all the walls. But mainly here you learn, ah, okay, you can drag around this cube on the wall. And if you look carefully, you see that there is a reveal made in this wall. And this will update too as you move around the cube. And then here you see a more complex reveal, just a reveal, no mesh in it, but here you can see that there are some strings, a circle, star, a triangle, and you can move this around too. And here's some more realistic uh, things you can see. Here's some window and you can see through it. Yeah. So feel free to play around with this. You can recreate what I did. All the blueprints we use in this map are uh, coming from the plug plugin. So you should be able to see how all of this works and do it by yourself. More content will follow after this, but as a lot of you wanted just to see how I make, how I made all of this happen, um, this will be shown right in this plugin. So also here you can see how the walls are matched together in any angle. Maybe I will make a series of uh, tutorials how to use these plugins, how we can make this run in game, because by now this is just just made with in editor functionality. You can you can play around with this by open the blueprints uh, folder, go to wall. Then we can just place walls here in the editor. But the same, the same we do here will be uh, is is also possible uh, at runtime. So you have here the root, the root component of this actor is the start point of the wall. And then we have some vertices. This is the end, and we can drag around it, uh, drag around, drag is around in the world, place a second wall also, let's place it on the same point as the start point of the other wall. Then you just have to tell the walls that they are connected. This can also be done in the blueprints. I think you are able to do this by yourself. I just show how it will work. Here you go to the wall plugin, wall, neighbors, and then you see, okay, connected walls on start. Add some, add an uh, element to this array, 
and choose the connected wall and you see instantly that this side is updated and this will do it dynamic so you do the same thing on the other wall and you see no split and live updating just to reload the other wall and boom this works okay then I hope you will have a lot of fun with this plugin and with testing around so by buying this plugin you will instant support me and I will continue on this project I hope for now that this is enough for you and I think most of you will be very happy about this so see you soon